10 years. Uh, whoops, celebrating our 10 year anniversary. And we do about 12 exhibitions a year and over 106 public programs. We present work fresh from the studio. We work with artists directly and collectors and artists directly to bring shows here. Um, so we do not collect artwork. Um, the umbrella sort of title for this is called Living in Canvas. Um, yeah, I was going to say, is that what you mean by Living in Canvas? Yeah, so we think of it as like our front door and we want to change it. It's just another like space to put art. You know, like we are going to art museum and so we want to put art everywhere. So Andrew Quo is our our first, it wasn't our first artist that has done a facade project. He was the first artist we worked with for Kickstarter. And how did you guys decide on working with him? I was a big fan of his work, and when I saw the facade, you know, at some point they put on like sort of a stucco facade on top of this Robert Kahn design facade, and it has a geometric to it, and so I wanted something that was show the architecture here. Yeah. Yeah. So proposed the Kickstarter idea. I did. So I said, you know, we want to do this new facade project. We love your work. We would like you to drop a proposal, and he drew up state faces, which um, echoes a lot of his feelings about living. He lives in the lower side of New York, and he's grown up there. Uh, he lives in the same house. So why did you choose to do a Kickstarter campaign as that part of your response? You know, it was one of these things where Kickstarter, Victoria Rogers, who was our liaison at Kickstarter, um, reached out to us and I told her she gave me some ideas about what to do and I, I was like, well we have this living camera project and I live on fundraising for and she's like, you should try to raise half the money to Kickstarter. Would you guys, are you thinking about doing another project with them again, or would you, based on this experience? I would, definitely. It was a really great experience. I mean, I think it's also a good marketing tool, because you have a site, and you have people that are, like, talking about you. Um, and the biggest question is, how do you get someone to give you uh, support when they may never see your project? And so you have to have a really compelling message. So that, that has to all work. Like, you can't just pick a project because you believe in it. It has to be a project that's going to translate online. It has to be a project that other is relevant to other people. To buy into, literally. Yeah, you have to like figure out, like, why would they support something they would never see? Um, what, what would help that you know, happen? Um, so you have to think about it from a lot of different angles.